Hi everybody, it's Tristan here from Evolve EdTech and welcome back to another video as part of our Google Slides More Than Just a Slide Deck series. Today on our video, in, in, in our video today, we're going to show you how you can publish your slide deck to the web. So maybe you'd like people to be able to access and view your slide deck. You don't necessarily want to share your slide deck with them um, through Google Slides by providing them with a link or um, adding them to your slide deck, but we can actually publish it to the web. It's great to put onto websites if it's something that is important that consist consistently is available for people to view. So we're going to go and have a look at how easy it is to publish to the web today. Um, but before we do that, I just want to remind you, if you haven't done so already, we would love it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, subscribing to our YouTube channel will give us the motivation to continue to make content for you here at Evolve EdTech. We are full-time teachers as well, so this is our little side project to support you when it comes to integrating and implementing technology in your classroom. So we want to give you lots of tips, tricks, and tools, and um, by subscribing to our channel, you will provide us with that motivation and inspiration. And if you haven't done so, we'd love it if you joined the Evolve EdTech um, community on our social networks. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are available. So come and join us and be part of our community where we can collaborate and learn together. So let's head over to have a look at how we can use Google Slides and how we can publish it to the web. So as I mentioned, rather than going up here to our share button up in the top right hand corner and sharing our slide deck with people, okay, by um, directly sharing it through our emails or sending a link out, we can actually publish our slide deck to the web. All right. Now, let me show you how to do this and um, I'll show you what it looks like. So you've got a bit of an idea. It's a bit hard to explain without actually seeing it and it's a bit hard to visualize. So to publish to the web, we head up to our file tab up in the top left hand corner. Then we are going to scroll down to this part here, publish to the web. OK, and we're going to click on that. Now, we have two options when it comes to publishing to the web. We've got our link and we have our embed code. All right, so I'm going to show you both of those um, and demonstrate how to do those. It's really easy. Now, the really important thing about um, this is be very careful about your information in your slide deck. So make sure there's no um, identifiable information or information that is um, security or sensitive um, because obviously this is available globally, worldwide, okay, with people. So just be aware of that when you are or if you are using this. And just be aware that you um, need to make sure that if you are using it to progress something um, with information, just be aware of um, the duration and how much people might have to read or take in on each slide, okay? All right, so we have the option to auto advance slides um, in a slide deck that is published to the web. We've got every second, and then we've got a whole range of duration and um, um, time frame was there for us. And this is what I was saying about being careful of about how much time you want each slide to be displayed when you are publishing it to the web. So if it's say a uh, just a, a picture gallery or something like that, it might only need to be a couple of seconds for each picture. If it's something really important that might take a bit of time to read, you might put every minute. Okay. For today's demonstration, we might just stick to our default three seconds because we don't need to stress too much about the information in this presentation. Now, we've got a, an, a couple more options here. We've got the ability to start the slideshow as soon as the player loads in the web browser. Okay, so if you just want this to play as soon as people um, get into the browser through this link, you can do that. So we might do that one day. And we have the ability to restart the slideshow after the last slide. So if you just want it to go on and on and on and on forever, you have that option as well. So let's click that one as well. And we're going to click our yellow publish button here. We're going to get this little um, um, display up here that asks us if we are sure if we want to publish this particular section. And we're going to click OK. And now we have our link. OK, so that is the link that we will be able to share if we would like to share this particular um, presentation and slide deck with somebody else. We also have the ability to share it through Gmail, 
Facebook and Twitter. So if we copy this link and we head off to a new tab in my Microsoft um, Edge browser here and we paste that one in, you will see our slide deck. So you can see there's no controls here. We don't have to get people to start it. It's just playing automatically and it's progressing through the slide deck every three seconds. Okay, so it's just moving through every three seconds. It's playing that video there. Um, so I'm going to assume that that slide will probably stay on that slide for the duration of that video. So um, that is there. So that's how we publish to the web, okay? Um, that's how we are able to create a Google slide deck um, of, of information or images or resources or whatever it is um, so that people can access and use it without actually having to go into Google Slides and manipulate it themselves. It's great if you want, just want to create something simple that people can access through your website, your Google Sites, um, even Google Classroom might be a great place to put this. So that's how we publish to the web using the link code. So let's go and have a look at the embed code. Now, this is if we want to put it onto a website or into um, somewhere where we can display it. So again, we have very similar options. We have our slide size, whether it's medium, small, medium, large, or we can customize that, okay? Again, we have our auto advanced slide duration um, capabilities here. So that is the same um, as the link. We, again, we've got the same functions of whether we start the slideshow as soon as it loads and to restart it, so it just goes on and on and on forever. A bit like the never ending story. Then once you are happy with all of your um, information here and your settings, we're just going to copy our embed code and then we will go and embed that into our particular um, source that we're going to use. So if it's your website, if you're putting it into something like a Google Sites, you might use your embed code, okay? So it's very similar to the link in terms of how to set it up. The only main difference is our slide size, but we're not using the link, we're actually using our embed code. So it's a really easy way to, to share a Google slide presentation that's for a particular purpose um, without having people being required to go in and look at the actual presentation themselves. They could go to your website, they could go to some other resource and be able to watch it and view it. Now, we also do have a couple of publishing um, content and setting options, which we can go and have a look at down here. Now, we can actually stop publishing um, once we have published something to the web. So that is available for us. So if you um, find there's an error or it's out of date and you would like to remove it, we can do that. Okay, so you can stop that as well. So if we go OK, and I'm just going to go here because I've still got the link um, from the previous example. So now if we go here, you'll see that it's not going to find that particular um, link. All right, so we've stopped publishing it from the web. And we can um, restrict access from the following. So um, if I wanted to restrict access um, from my Evolve EdTech domain, um, that is possible as well, okay? So um, restricting access just to those people within your domain. So if you only want people who have um, within your school or your district to be able to access that, you can do that as well. And obviously their email addresses will be similar to your domain name um, and have some connections so that they'll be able to access and view your Google Slides deck that is published to the web. So it's really easy to publish your slide deck to the web if you want to share it with someone and make it a bit um, easier to, to view and access simply by either going through the link or using the embed code. A really great way to share and make your slides much more accessible and easy to use um, for, by other people. Probably the biggest thing to remember is to be aware of what information you are sharing, all right? And just being aware of the um, content on the slides as they auto advance. So you don't wanna have too much text that requires a lot of reading time because you've only got up to one minute um, in total to, um, to move through those slides if that's the option that you select. Well, there you go. Another little tip and trick about my, uh, not Microsoft, Google Slides. We're not doing Microsoft this time. About Google Slides and um, just showing you that there is more to Google Slides than just being a slide deck, okay? There is so many other little features and functions that you might not be aware of um, until somebody tells you. 
Well, thank you so much for joining us for a, another video. I hope you have um, found this really interesting and you go out there and have a look at you might be able to use the publish to the web option with Google Slides. Just before we head off, just a reminder to subscribe to our YouTube channel again. Um, we'd love it if you gave it a big thumbs up. Uh, if you also click that notification bell so that you know when we um, are releasing more content. We'll try and release content as much as um, and as quickly as possible. But as I mentioned, we are full-time teachers as well. So we do have a lot of other things that we need to do and we'll try and get um, resources to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to head over and join our socials. All right, we'd love to grow our community. Um, it would be great for you to be part of our journey um, from this little team that we have here at Evolve EdTech. And don't forget to head over to our website, evolveedtech.com. All right, this is where you can find a whole range of tips, tricks, and tools. All right, we've got our videos that you can access. They're our YouTube um, playlists. Um, there will be a new playlist added to this um, very soon, which will be the Google Slides More Than Just a Slide Deck uh, playlist. It's not up there just yet, but it'll go in there very soon. Um, you can access our Evolve EdTech podcasts, okay, if you'd like to go and have a listen to those. Um, there's a two series of those available, and there are a whole heap of resources here, infographics. There are over 50 Jamboard templates for you to download and use. Um, there's some Google Keep headers. There are our weekly collections. There's our plan board series um, and tutorial videos if you'd like to look at plan board by chalk. Um, we've got some ebooks and we've also got some digital timers which we've started to um, develop. Well, that is us. That is Evolve EdTech. We're here to share our love of EdTech with you. We want to inspire you to try and use and integrate technology in your classrooms and hopefully help you with your journey. Anyway, my name is Tristan. Thank you so much for joining us for another video as part of the Google Slides More Than Just a Slide Deck series. There will be more videos coming out soon, so please make sure you check those out when they are released. But until then, stay safe, everybody, and we will see you next time.